Hello, welcome to my tower garden window. This is my tower garden. I got this this past summer and I did grow some vegetables outside. I learned a lot about what it's like to do this tower garden. It's called hydroponic. And what you do is you have these, you plant seeds in these little blocks called rock wool and you just plant the seed. You can start the seed outside of the tower garden and then you put it in when it has sprouted. I have red cabbage here, green cabbage here. So I have four cabbage plants growing. I have two of these snap peas. This is one and this is my second one. I don't see any snap peas on it yet. These are microgreens. I could put these on salad right now. You can see that I have some openings. I need to figure out what I want to maybe plant there. Maybe some parsley. I'm looking at the winter type things. This is some lettuce. Look at that. It's so pretty. So green. I could put that on my lettuce right now. On my salad. I mean, I could put that in my salad. I could cut a few and that will keep growing. I have some lettuce here some more here this right here is spinach this is growing very well now some of these plants i ordered online and the plants will come in a little container i don't see the container oh it's a container the plants come in this little container and they are already sprouted you get them from a company online and they mark down which plant is which so you know where you might want to put them, red cabbage, iceberg, miscellaneous spinach, tender sweet cabbage, snow peas, and one strawberry plant. Um, I do have some peppers right here. Those seem to be growing kind of slowly. Two pepper plants. And it seems like I'm always having trouble with my pepper plants. I haven't been majorly successful. Here's my strawberry plant. I have a few buds on it. This seems to be the slower growing of all of the ones that I ordered recently. Here's my tomato plant. Here's some more lettuce. And here's another tomato plant. Now this tomato plant had some buds on it, but I took them off so that it would encourage more growth. So I'm learning and growing my own food. If you want more information, please let me know. It's a lot of fun and yeah, it was kind of an expensive thing to start up with, but I didn't have to buy any dirt. You just buy the thing, put water in it, put some nutrients in it. And sometimes you might want to buy plants, but you can do your own seeds. I have a bunch of seeds that I plan to start. It is almost the end of January and I saw that you can actually start seed planting inside in January. So. Look forward to more videos like this, and if you're interested in trying to grow your own food using a tower garden, let me know and I will give you more information. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you next time.